Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with Techbook Solutions and we're here at our Mesa house flip and I want to show you all the work that Nick's been putting into this house flip with his bare hands. All right, well maybe not his bare hands, but he has been putting in so much work as you guys can see. He has this dumpster truck full of stuff from inside the house and Nick is pretty much going to take over here and just give you guys an update on where he currently has a house flip. What's up guys, so this is essentially day like five with this house flip. As you guys know, we bought this a couple weeks ago. We actually tried to list it on the market before we did anything and just sell it as is. We had a lot of showings, which is a great sign, but no offers on it. So we went ahead and started the demo on it. As you guys can see, we're almost done here. Let's go inside and uh, walk you guys through it. We'll take you through the garage entrance right now. So this is the the electrical's off right now because we're still doing demo, but this is the gutted kitchen, and we have some very exciting plans for this. I'm not sure how much Ricky talked about how we're gonna open this up, but we are gonna tear down this entire wall right here, this entire wall over here, and the only thing that's gonna be left here is we're gonna have an 18-foot support beam come all the way through the ceiling, and then we're gonna have a post right here, but besides that, it's gonna be a completely open floor plan, and we're gonna put an island right here, it's gonna be a seven by five island, which will be a really nice island with a stove top. And then we're gonna have a vent coming down here. So it's gonna be an extremely open floor plan, which is a lot more modern nowadays than what they previously had in like the 50s, 60s, and 70s, where everything was kind of closed off in separate rooms and stuff like that. So this will be a really, really modern look. We're gonna put a nice little granite slab on there and we may even do a little waterfall slab depending on our budget here. This is all pretty much gonna remain the same. We're just gonna update the cabinets because these cabinets were so old. We're gonna keep the sink right here. Dishwasher's gonna go right here. We are most likely going to remove this right here just because it has a lot of like a really outdated look. So we're gonna have cabinets going all the way up to the ceiling. We actually just had our cabinet guy come in about 15 minutes ago. So that's the most recent quote that we got. Question for you guys, where would you put the fridge in a situation like this? So we have two options. We can have the fridge kind of tucked away in this corner, and then we'd be able to put a little bit of a countertop over here, or we can put the fridge on that side of the uh, kitchen as well. So we're still undecided on that, but let's keep walking over here. This wall is gonna be taken down as well, so if you guys can envision this, this is all gonna be gone. It's gonna be completely open. This is the living room. Um, the, we haven't decided on the flooring yet. That'll probably be in a later video. We're just gonna update all this right here. This is the addition that we didn't do ourselves. This was probably about 20 years old. It's a really well-built addition. This used to all be closed off with a little patio door, but we opened it up. We're gonna get rid of this little stump right here. It's just gonna be a completely open floor plan. We, we lost some cabinet spaces since we took down that wall, but luckily we have a lot of cabinet spaces in here. This is kind of just an extra little game room, living room area. You can throw a TV up in there. I think it'll be really nice for the uh, for the new homeowners to, to have a look at that. This is a four bedroom, two bathrooms. Bedroom number one. I'm not really gonna do much here. The only thing we're gonna do. Watching the game and so on. Super and see, you drink out of here. Oh my goodness. Thank you. You're this welcome. is amazing. But see, you can't miss it. Hold on. Yeah. Question. It's only for when I watch Dallas. Right. Right. Thank you. All right. So, two of these bedrooms actually have access to one bathroom, which is considered a Jack and Jill bathroom. One of these has to be the master bedroom, and a master bedroom, you generally don't want someone else's bedroom to have access to your bathroom. So, we're going to actually drywall this whole door off right here. So, this specific bedroom isn't going to have access to this bathroom. We're going to we gutted all this as well. We're gonna put new uh, tile up here. We're still, we're probably gonna end up removing, actually this is really nice. We might end up keeping this tub and just kind of redoing the walls right here. We're gonna get a vanity right over here, flooring throughout. And then this is the master bedroom. It has a lot more closet space, which is why we wanted it to be the master, and it's the furthest bedroom from the living room, so this is what we consider the master. It's a little bit bigger as well. And we're just gonna do, I think we're gonna do carpet in all the bedrooms, by the way. So we're gonna get some new closet doors. Still undecided on what we're gonna do with these cabinets right here. It's kind of a waste of space because I'm 6'2 and I can barely reach these. So we may just put drywall on them and uh, leave it as is. 
Coming into the hallway right here. Bedroom number three, bedroom number four. You guys can have a quick look. We're not gonna, we're literally just gonna put carpet in these, change out the doors, and that's about it. We're doing the walls? Uh, we're gonna paint, yeah, we're gonna paint all the interior as well. We're gonna get new um, hardware, so you guys have noticed all this gold stuff. Extremely outdated, even all the hinges, we're gonna get rid of that. This door, we're gonna get a lighter door, like a little six panel door for probably, I think they're like, with the framing and everything around a hundred bucks. So we're gonna get all new doors, all new cabinets as well. These are just extremely outdated. And then the guest bathroom right here. <laughs> so it's like good and bad because we've never actually had to do any work in bathrooms at our recent flips or the flips that we've done before. So this is actually our first full demo and first renovation in a bathroom. So we're gonna get dual vanity sinks in here. The sink and the, the vanity and the, the, the countertops that were here previously were in amazing condition. They're just extremely outdated, so we did have to scrap those. But we're gonna get a nice granite slab in here. Still undecided if we're gonna keep this little section right here, here or just kind of blast it out and just kind of extend the vanity. Let me know what you guys think on that, what you would do. And then over here, we have a little bit of drywall issue. We have a little bit of mold that we need to remedy as well, which shouldn't be a problem because we have all the walls opened up now, so it'll be a lot easier. Uh, we're gonna re-drywall. We're gonna put some nice tile over here. I don't know if we wanna make this bathroom, get rid of this tub right here, and then make this bathroom kind of like a walk-in with a nice sliding glass door. I don't know yet. Let me know what you guys think on that. Bathrooms is, we're still kind of undecided. We've been so focused on the kitchen right now that we just haven't put a lot of thought into this. New toilet, this toilet's, nothing's wrong with it, but it's just 150 bucks, you might as well get a new one. Um, that is pretty much it. Should we go show you guys the backyard? I don't know what this room is, it's just another utility room. This is another addition, it's probably about a 120 square foot addition right here. That's locked, I'll show you that later. We did get fresh paint on the outside, so I did want to touch, uh, make a quick note on the paint. We went with a more subtle color, uh, more conservative color, because the demographic that is most likely going to buy this house is an older demographic. We are in uh, an area of Mesa where the demographic's just a little bit older, so we painted it. We didn't do anything aggressive or really contrasty like we did at uh, the other flip that we had. We kept it very neutral colors, a little light gray, and then we did white trim as well. We did a lighter color trim because there's so many trees surrounding this house that it's not getting a lot of sunlight at all throughout the day. So as much paint that we can, as much um, lighter paint that we can use is the better because it just brightens it up, makes it look a little bit bigger. We have an odd layout backyard. It's pretty much just a strip. A lot of front yard, not a lot of backyard, so we have a garden that I don't know what we're going to do with yet. I heard this was an orange tree from the neighbors. It's not quite ready. This is all flood irrigation, uh, covered patio, really nice covered patio, pomegranate tree, and then that's it. We're not going to do anything out here, really. We just paid our landscapers to come out and trim everything up. They'll probably come out one more time. Due to the inspection issues, everything has to be cut away from the roof. If there's any overhanging branches on a roof, then the inspection is not gonna come back clear. So that's gonna be a problem. So these trees are super tall, so we're gonna have to hire someone to, to cut all those tall branches just so it can pass inspection. And you never really want debris on your roof anyways, just because that's what causes erosion, it causes water to sit up there when it can't drain off properly. So getting uh, cutting back all those branches is pretty much the only thing we're doing. That is it. All right, guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed the update on the Mesa house flip. Make sure if you have any suggestions on what you would like to see done on this specific house flip, that you comment that down below. On top of that, if you have any questions about how to get started in real estate, make sure you follow Nick. He has a brand new YouTube channel, and that's the perfect way to engage with him, ask him questions, and you can also follow him on Instagram as well, and all his links will be down in the description. I appreciate you this time. I hope that we earned your thumbs up if you learned something new. And like always, let's make sure that we in the year on our green app. Take it easy.